Uh, welcome everyone to the stream. I am, of course, Laboratory Tech 13 here from the Riptide Project Laboratory, and today we're going to do some more Magic the Gathering Arena. Uh, we had some really cool uh, stuff we had last night going on. Uh, we had some really interesting uh, stuff. We had, um, we had, what did we have? We had uh, Tetsamok Brawl that we did, and you can find that, of course, on my YouTube channel. I, I have that together there. Uh, I put that up, uh, so... Uh, you can see the Tetsamok Brawl. I'll go ahead and give you a link to it in the chat so you can find that. There's a giveaway. Uh, going to take a little break from that for a little bit. We'll we'll charge up our giveaway meter because we've got some goals that we'd like to do for our giveaway. The next one, which we'll do on Saturday. We'll have a big giveaway on Saturday. We'll do uh, one, at, one every hour as well on that one. But we'll also do... Uh, we have some goals here that we, if we can reach them by Saturday, we will increase the amount of giveaways that we will be doing on Saturday. So that'll that'll be some fun. So let me go ahead and give you the link to the Brawl deck. You can watch the Tetsamok Brawl deck. In Arena. It was pretty awesome. We actually won two games out of that. Two games to one uh, before we stomped our stream yesterday. And it was pretty cool because... Uh, you know, there was a lot of interesting cards that were in there that actually made the deck interesting to play. And I feel like, you know, we can play some of that today. We actually have a new quest now where we do 12 black or green spells. I feel like if we play with that, we should be able to cast 12 black spells to get that gold. We also have daily gold that we can earn today as well, again. So we should be able to earn close enough to getting another pack or so. And we also have another pack from getting four extra wins here. So let's try to do that. Uh, you can see as well, I've got the current card set up down below. Um, what I've go gone ahead and, do and done is set it to the current card that has been revealed today. Uh, so that way you, you know exactly what's been going on. Uh, normally it is set to whatever I'm looking at on the screen. But that is actually currently messing with my stream enough that it's messing up the video and or messing with the audio and we really don't want that messed up while we're currently playing we want people to be able to understand us and see what's going on with our stream right we'll probably fix that some way somehow in a different way but we'll figure out what's going on there and we'll fix that up so of course welcome anybody who are watching the stream of course i am laboratory tech 13 and let's go ahead and get started with a couple arena playthroughs okay so let's start out with the uh, mono black tetsamok brawl deck that i had from yesterday let's see if we can get two or three more uh wins out of that and we try to get the quest done for today okay So, of course, uh, you know, we've got a pretty good get day going for us today. We, you know, got the new Magic this, uh, Magic Story came out. We might do a little read-through of that later. Uh, you know, have people check out what's going on here. But check it out. We got a gas or Grasping Scoundrel in our first hand. Cartusha, mm, Cartusha of Ambition. Sorry, my words aren't working well today. We've got a Lethal Sting, Impale, Lurking Chupacabra. That, that should be interesting to do, right? Let, let's, uh... I think we can be good with this. We go first, so we can put out the Grasping Scoundrel first. Let's do that. Let us take our first hand. We're playing against Chef's Balls. That's pretty interesting. I wonder if they made some great meatballs, right? My day's been going well. My day is actually been going quite well myself. I got up a little bit earlier to do some extra work on some other uh, freelance stuff that I do. But then, of course, I wanted to, you know, get ready and I... Uh, Made sure to install my latest drivers for my graphics card and my uh, my webcam, so that way everything runs smoothly for you. So hopefully it's running smoothly. But we'll find out. Grasping Scoundrel is going to attack in for some damage here. Get in there. He attacks. Heals two damage. It's technically a two one when it attacks, and that's all we need, right? They're going to cycle the river serpent. That's fine. If they're probably playing blue red uh, or blue white, actually. No, they're playing blue red. I was right. So let's go ahead and drop our swamp. I think they're just gonna try to kill our own creature here if we drop the cartouche of ambition on it. But we got to. We have to. We have to make it work. We want to kill my creature before I gain the life link. 
Well, I'm sure they will. Oh no, they won't! Alright, cool. You may put a plus plus encounter. I will decline. Do they think that I'm gonna put it on my own creature? No! I'm gonna attack and, and gain three life here. Let's do this. Oh yes. We gain that life. They're gonna cycle sensor. They could have censored. That's strange. I don't know why they didn't do that. Maybe they were already just gonna get rid of the creature next turn? That's really, really strange. But we'll figure out what's going on here as we continue with this playthrough. It'll just be a nice chill day. I'm not really, you know, super crazy, uh, you know, uh, excited for much anything. I just want to get in some games. I mean, I'm really excited for the cool stuff they reveal in the story today. They have a total new weatherlight crew that they've uh, talked about in the story today. So if you haven't checked that out, I can give a link to that as well in the uh, in the chat as well. That's a link to the uh, new story for today. We'll just go ahead and leave our hand alone because we've got two uh, cards here that can get rid of creatures. Wow, they are just cycling all over the place. Gates of the Afterlife, well, they're gonna play that. Non token creature dies, they get two life. That seems fine. Oh, they gain a life, actually. They don't all card to discard a card. I'm okay with this. I mean, you can keep cycling creatures all you want. It looks like they drew a bunch of, like, high costed creatures. Hmm. Oh well. Not sure they're gonna have anything that's gonna go on after there. We're gonna just keep drawing cards. Ooh, we got Tomb Robber. Good, we can play that. I'm waiting to have some, uh,. While we're waiting to get some more lands. We need more lands. That's what's going on here. We need more lands. Strategic planning. Okay. Striped river winder. That seems fine. Uh, we've got supernatural stamina. We can put that off if we need to uh, to save a creature. Right here, we can actually do Tomb Robber. Discard a card. I think we might want to discard, uh... Impale? To explore? We can do that whenever we want, so... Let's just go ahead and go to combat and attack. They're just gonna keep doing that. Alright. Are they gonna try to cast... God Pharaoh's Gift? Do they have God Pharaoh's Gift? Wow, it's actually red, white, blue. It's very interesting. Now, Supernatural Stamina, we probably want to put on Tomb Robber so it can come back. Okay. Uh, so what are they going to target? That's what we need to know. Who are they going to target? That's the question. What is your target? Is it Grasping Scoundrel? It's Tomb Robber. That's interesting. Um, I don't know if we want to let them have that. Lethal Sting is a sorcery. Dies, it comes back. Well, if they're going to get rid of it, I think we should explore at this point. Because we would like to discard something to draw a card. So, let's discard a card. Let's discard... Mm, what do we want to get rid of? Now, since we're not going to have the Tomb Robber for a while, let's get rid of the Green Chupacabra. That's Vanquish's Banner. Uh, we don't need that. Put that in the green burn. That's cool. It's fine. We're just trying to see what we've got on top of our library. To see if we can get some more stuff going on. Combat Celebrant, that, that seems fine. Sure, you have a Combat Celebrant. Are they trying to do the Combat Celebrant combo? Where it gets... Comes back from the graveyard? That's a little strange. So if we put a minus one minus one counter on it. It becomes a 1-1. One, one. We kill Combat Celebrant. Then we attack for two. Yeah, we, we could probably do this. It's got lifelink. Don't know if he's going to block. He doesn't block. Well, let's see what happens. If you don't block, we win. If 
He is gonna block. Okay, cool. Cool. Supernatural stamina on. It it dies. I get they're so they're looking to do weird shenanigans with God Pharaoh's gift. Oh, they're interesting out. So there's some issues going on with it. All right, that seems fine. Bone picker is easy to cast now. We drew it too. That was awesome. We drew the bone picker. That's super sweet. Mission blinding. Do what? Well, if we draw a land next turn, we can impale it and get it back. So we'll get a reaver, an reaver ambush it next turn too. So we can do all that stuff. Cycle the desert of the fervent. That seems fine. They're gonna pass the turn. Play them. That's fine too. Pass the border. Okay. Uh, well, why don't we reaver ambush the bi bishop of binding? Get rid of that. Give us our bone picker. Attack. Get in for two. We can do this. We can do this. I'm sure we can do this. Uh, my stats say there's zero viewers, but that's not true. So they've gone and just given us a victory. That's fine. We can progress into silver. We got another card and we got some gold. That's how we do it. We're actually up to another pack now, too, which we can open. Uh, let's go ahead and check out this card, though. Unknown Shores. Fantastic. All right. You know, it's an extra land. That's cool. So what do we got going on today? We've got another reward for 50 gold. We've got a booster pack that we can do. So, we're actually on our way to casting enough 12 black or green spells. That's another win underneath the Tetsamok, uh deck. So we'll put that in, a, in that, that column right there. That'll be another win right there. Uh, let's play another game though. Let's see if we can still win this Brawl deck and unlock all these quests that we got going on, right? So, in our hand, we've got Dust Legion Zealot, which would be hilarious with Supernatural Stamina, and Kite Self Freebooter, and Champion to Dust. This seems fine. Yeah, we go for We'll keep that. That seems really good. We will absolutely keep that. So, since we go first, let's drop a Swamp, let them pass the turn, continue on. Continue on. We also drew another Swamp, that's perfect. I think we might want to just drop Kite Cell and see what's in their hand. Hey, you, what's in your hand? Absolutely. <coughs> God Pharaoh's Gift, Strategic Planning, which is what they're probably looking to cast next turn. Oh, so they're doing to do another God Pharaoh's Gift thing. Champion events. That's probably going to try to play. Uh, do, 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 do. So, look three, they're going to play Champion Wits, and they're going to try to play Vizier to copy it. We already know that's coming. Let's take Strategic Planning. That seems fun. We'll take their turn two play. They can't do anything except play what they're going to do on turn two. Hello. Oh, yes. Now we got another Swamp. Now we drop Dust Legion Zealot. We're going to draw a card. This is Mono Black. Tetsamonk. Mono Black. That's a monk, mono black, that's a monk. That's what we got going on. So they're going to draw another card. We already know what's mostly in their hand now. We're going to play that. We're going to play champion. Yeah, we knew we were going to play champion of wits. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we knew that was going to happen. That's fine. Yeah, you can draw two of cards. That seems okay. So, what are they going to discard? Probably more creatures to the graveyard. Maybe it's Ollie because they probably think they can't cast it at this point. Oh, they're just going to discard lands. Okay. That seems fine. Back to my turn. Uh, I think we're going to keep Desert of the Glorified Desert of the Glorified so we can get our uh, cycling on. 
I think we want to drop Vicious Conquistador. Because we want that extra vampire bonus when we drop Champion to Dust next turn. Uh, and then I think... Uh, yeah, I think we want a Supernatural Stamina up in this so we can draw an extra card, right? Okay, I'll get in there. You gonna block with the Champion of the Wits? Absolutely gonna block with the Champion of the Wits. We're gonna Supernatural Stamina on it. Damage dies. He dies. He comes back. Comes back tap. I lose a card. I draw a card. Oh yes. Keep on going. Go to the next turn. We are we are getting some good stuff going on here. This combos in this Tetsamog deck are really good. I'm sure you make a Vizier of the Many Faces. That seems fine. What are you gonna do? Get Kite Sail Free Booter? Non-land, non-creature, non-land card from it. Not sure. Yeah, take a look at that. All I've got is a bunch of lands. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Let's cycle this. Prying Blade. That's what we were looking for. Oh, yes. Lethal Sting. Ooh, we like that, too. Let's drop a Swamp. Put a minus one, minus one counter on a creature to destroy the creature. I like that. I think that's what we'll do. Because we can also put Prying Blade down, too. So, what we're going to do is we're going to minus one, minus one our uh, Excel Freebooter. And now we'll do it on a Vicious Conquistador to kill his creature. That seems fine, right? Looks like they're going to play another land. I don't know if they have anything really good, so. Uh, two target creature. So what's the target here? Is this... Yeah, because... Yeah, that's the creature. Send a counter. Submit. He gets the counter. Destroy that creature. That's cool. It doesn't matter because that guy deals combat damage anyway. Prying Blade. I'll attack. Get in there. He does his damage anyway. Oh, yeah. This is how we do it. We keep our flyer, too. So that way, if we need to, Kaiso Freebooter can get the Prying Blade, get in there, and deal damage. That's how that works. I'm not sure what they're doing. Strategic planning, sure. How come those cards over there got flipped around? That's weird. That's a bug. That is a bug. They got flipped upside down. Let me sit. <laughs> Let me turn. Let me tell you all about my life got flipped, turned upside down. Now uh, we want to draw some cards here, so we're gonna draw drop paper You got that counter spell? Oh yeah, it's the scatter. That's fine. We're cool with that. Essence Scatter is okay. They really don't want me drawing cards because I'm just stomping for them at this point. Oh, they destroyed my artifact. That's sad. Cool, I have another one. Vampire. Soldier a better idea there? Because like, that thing's a pirate, right? Pirate, soldier, soldier. Nah, soldier was not a better idea. Hi, we have another artifact that you probably should have waited for. Yeah, you can play search. I don't care. It doesn't matter. So we're going to just go into combat. Swing in again. Oh, yes. And then we're going to drop a dinosaur. Because we can. It's a dinosaur. Hunter, it's a dinosaur hunter. How about Essence? Pair of Bone Picker, that seems better, right? Oh yeah, I think we got this game. Locked in the bag. That's gonna be another win right there. That's awesome. We got Andre watching. Hey Andre, thanks for coming in and watching some of the stream. I'm gonna be streaming, of course, all the way till 11 o'clock tonight. Don't think they're gonna win here. Magma spray, sure you can take magma spray. That's fine. Combat, get in there, get that win. Very easy. That was super easy. And we're still playing the Tetsamok deck. Can you do that? The Brawl Tetsamok deck is just so good on its own. We're getting wins out of it. We got the we got the rewards. We got fourteen hundred gold. We're getting there. What about a reward card for the day? What is it? That's onward, onward to victory. Ooh, I like onward to victory a lot. 
I'll probably try to play Onward to Victory in our red-white uh, aggro deck. That'll be some fun, right? Struggling a little bit now that the opponents get harder and harder. I know, the opponents do get harder and harder as you climb the ranks. However, you put the skill to it, you try to get some more cards into your deck. That's how Magic the Gathering Arena works. So that's what we're trying to do here. We actually are close to opening up the vault as well. So let's keep continue playing with the, uh, well, maybe we shouldn't play with the Tetsamok deck now. Let's go over to Red White. I want to play some Red White. Let's do the Boros Monster. Let's, uh, let's head at the Boros deck. Where are you? Hasboros. Hasboros. We have a uncommon wild card and a common wild card. We did get another Glory Bound initiate, so we can add that to the deck. Uh, I do like a Dorm Pouncer, Pride of Conquerors. I think we want to add another one of those, or another Lightning Strike. I like Lightning Strike a lot. Uh, Relentless Raptor, I'm not too keen on because we don't have vehicles to really sink into him. Another On Crop Crasher seems pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's difficult, very difficult. I think what we want to do is we want another on crop crasher. Yes. Let's turn that one in. Okay, we got that. We got on crop crasher. Do we have a common that we can get here? Can we up the common? I don't think so. I think Fanatical Fire Red, we get another one of those. I like that. Another aggro creature in there. Uh, so that means we're gonna have to take out three cards. I think we're just gonna have to take out Dorm Pouncer, I really like coming back from the graveyard. Is it budget on Etherhub? Uh, let me go ahead and change something. Change something real quick uh, with the links. I want to make it so that you can post the links. Because I know you're just posting the links to some stuff. So let me let me fix some uh, stuff here for you. Uh, so you can post links and stuff like that. Give me just a moment. I'm going to try to change the setting here. And we'll go to this one. So that you can post your links. I know you were going to post that link. Uh, give me just a moment. Ball water. Autobot. Autobot. I know. Let's change some settings here. Let's change the bottom. Motto. Security and privacy. That, of course, is generation. Autobot. Let's Let's do... Yes. Let's do... Only a little moderation. Because... Well, hold on. Delete links in chat. That's true. Actually. Okay. There we go. We turned off... We turned that off. So, in just a moment, you should be able to post some links in the chat. So, that way back to the dashboard. Alright, go, uh, go ahead and post your link again. See if that works. Post your link if that works. It's a, it's a deck, right? There you go. All right, awesome. So what the heck are you talking about here? Let's take a look. This is your Amiket is it budget high win rate strategic planning. You know, I've actually been seeing this deck. I've actually played against this deck uh, several times. And, you know, the SS scatters really bummed me out. But the strategic planning, I was able to actually pull out of their hands with uh, Kaisel Freebooter in the, the game I just played. And, uh, you know, it's not too bad. Not too bad. 
It's not amazing. Yeah, it's not amazing, but it's not too bad. So we're still taking cards out of this deck here. I like Pride of Conquerors a lot. But I also like Trial of Solidarity a lot. Because Given Vigilance is pretty good. Um, I think what we'll just do is we'll drop down the Abraid. Because we want to be able to not have to worry about killing stuff. Um, I like Relentless Raptor a lot. I like Honor Crop Captain a lot. We'll drop down... Um, we got some ex exert stuff in here. So yeah, we'll drop down a Pride of Conquerors. Let's drop down Harsh Mentor. We can get rid of that too. He's okay. Um, we have all these lands here. Look at all these lands. 10, 2, uh, 12, 13, 15, 22. 22 lands. That seems fine. Yeah, because we're, we're pretty low, low uh, curve here. 10, 20, no, we're actually 23 lands. Oh, yeah, this is fine. This is totally fine. Um, everything is super low curve. A lot of creatures. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. We like Magma Spray a lot because we need some burn to go along with our Lightning Strike and a Braids. So that seems okay. Uh, we got some Frenetic Firebands because yeah, we'd like to attack. Yeah. Okay, we also said Onward to Victory was in here as well. What else do we have that we can put in here that would be really cool? Baffling End is okay. We want the ability to kill something large, which... Uh, I'm not sure we have anything like that. That we could put in here. It would have to be something destroy target creature that's super huge, right? Oh, Kanjali Sunwing! Yes, we actually got Kanjali Sunwing. Uh, we'll definitely put that in the deck. Uh, I do like Relentless Raptor, but... Let us put in... In place of the Raptor, can Jolly Sunwing. Because that's going to be a really good uh, card to help us get in for more damage, right? Ready Destiny, we don't have much of a theme going on to do that. There are a lot of warriors in here. A lot of warriors. A lot of vampires, too. A lot of warriors, actually. Wow. Uh, I mean, we could play it, which would be really cool. Uh, yeah, let's... Yeah, let's drop a pike, put in a Radiant Destiny, see how that works. Let us also... Maybe look for some more warriors, perhaps? Maybe he hasn't arrived yet. As a Badaya, welcome to the stream. I am at, I am Laboratory Tech 13 of the Rift Tide Project Laboratory. You can see right there. Uh, you haven't got your key yet? Quite early January. It should be happening soon. They're, they're, they're bringing people in in waves, so... You shouldn't have too much trouble getting that. Uh, we're actually really excited uh, because we uh, I'm getting close to affiliate. I think after today or tomorrow streaming, I will have an affiliate invite, which would be really awesome because then you can start helping me out with the stream, and uh, you know, you can you can your uh, like your Twitch Prime, your free Twitch Prime subscription. You can use that to help me out and give some cool stuff. I just bought one. Wow, I, I don't I don't know if I would recommend buying one, but you know, if you really are excited to get in there, I would I would do it, I suppose. So we actually have a second cast out here, but we have Angel and Condemnation, so we can like we can use that better. What else do we have that we can use? We got Regal Caracals. Well if you bought it for that cheap, I don't really blame you. We have Zatalpa, which is hilarious. I don't think we can use Zatalpa in this deck, but I would like to, to make a red-white approach deck, because now I have two approaches. And we can use the Talpa as an alternate win on that deck, because man, that thing is huge. And we and that thing just wants a bunch of auras, right? So, we'll take a look at the other stuff that we have here. We have Cartouches, stuff, Harsh Mentor. Let's search for Warriors here. Maybe we can do a little bit more Warrior theme. We have a Kills Avenger. We have Steward of Solidarity, which would be really interesting with... Uh, uh, with uh, Radiant Destiny. Flameblade Adept is also a warrior. Nefcrop Tanger Summit's a warrior, but we don't have the mana for that. We would have to change our mana base for that. Uh, and then we have Oncrop Champion. No, I think we'll just keep it like this. Hazard be at the top end. Radiant Destiny we'll call Warriors because that way, you know, we can get a lot of cool functions out of it. We'll see what happens. We'll try this out. This is our next new Hazaret red-white deck. We'll try to earn some more of this gold. We'll try to earn some packs. We got two more wins to go. 
Oh no, we've just... Okay, cancel that. Don't start that. We gotta switch over to the red white. I wish, I wish the deck you just currently edited shows up here on the play section. So, you know, I really would like that for, for that to work. Alright, so let us go ahead and start this next playthrough. So what we're trying to do today is, is get some goals completed for our giveaway on Saturday. Because we're going to be doing a giveaway on Saturday. Uh, been doing a lot of giveaways lately, been running out of cards and stuff for the giveaway, so I'm trying to slow it down a little bit, but I appreciate all the people that have come in for the giveaways up to now. Uh, we're trying to get to the computers today, we'll see if we can do it. Uh, I know my peak times are around like 8 o'clock or something like that, so that might work. We also want to try to get 5 wins in with the Brawl deck, which, you know, with our Tetsamok deck, uh, we actually got 2 two wins so far, so we'll, we'll keep track of that. Uh, oh, it's actually a really decent hand. Sky Merch Aspirants in the, in the beginning. We've got a Braid, we got Honor Crop Captain. This is a really decent hand. And Cartouche of Solidarity is there. Uh, also try to get 20 wins overall, which we've gotten uh, overall today. Uh, overall, two. Two so far. We've played two games and we've won two games. So if we get 20 wins overall today, we'll get another pack. Uh, and then also, we've, if we get 100, 100 followers, which we're at 94, uh, we'll get another pack for the drawing on Saturday as well. So just just keep watching and keep helping it out. We'll we'll, we'll get there. Uh, so opponent goes first. I get to play Scarmour Fire Desperate, then Cartouche Solidarity. I do have an Abraid for any creatures they have, so this seems fine. This seems okay. Dojo Pan is the person I'm playing against. You know, it'll be really cool to see if I play against anybody who's famous, but I guess they might be higher up in the uh, rank list. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. We've got the uh, we've got the will, we've got the way. You've got a fanatical firebrand. Great. So let's drop a extra aspirant. Let's see what they do. They might just toss it and kill it, which would be hilarious because I'll just play Honor Crop Captain next turn. So of course, Andre as a Badiah, just let me know if my uh, wow, it's a mono red. Uh, let me know if my stream is good. Said video is good. Let me know if all that's good. I've been trying to make sure that that gets good during the stream. So. Yeah, so they wanted to attack. They made they they definitely made that attack. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna drop the cartouche of solidarity on my sky marcher aspirant. It's gonna make it hard to kill. And it's going to make a first strike. And we can also just straight up attack if we wanted to. When it enters battlefield, target creature can't block. I think we should just attack. Because they're probably just going to kill it next turn. This is going to be a little bit difficult. Probably should have played Desert of the Fervent last turn so we could do more things. I'm going to just try to run us out with Ramanop Red, I think. So, yeah, they're just straight mono red. This is going to be a little bit difficult. Fanatical Firebrand will probably get killed to, to, to destroy the 1-1. One -one. And then Earthshaker Kenra comes in for two. Yeah, back to spray. Or that. Sure. That's weird. I don't know why they didn't hit the Sky Marcher Aspirant with that. That's strange. Oh well. We need to gain some life, so. We need. Squire's Devotion would be really good here. We don't have it. The stream is perfect. Thank you. Well, thank you for letting me know that the stream is perfect. Yeah, wow, we need Sweltering Suns or something. This is going to be gnarly. Oh, we got another Magma Spray, so... Uh, yeah, we're going to play for late tap. So, Magma Spray, the 2-1, two the 2-2, two two, get him out of here. Please go away. And then I think we're just going to pass the turn. Unless they just drop another Magma Spray on my creature. Of course. We knew that was coming. Yeah. This is difficult. Oh, if their hand con contains a mountain and a hazard, we are in deep trouble. Now they're just going to attack for three. That's fine. The lack of viewers. Oh, no, I'm not I'm not too worried about the lack of viewers. Yeah, uh, that's not a problem for me. I, I'm totally committed to playing this game no matter how many viewers I get or what have you. So. That's a 2-1 menace. 
a braid. Hmm. So I guess what we want to do is we want to cast... I don't know if we want to kill one of their creatures right now. Earthshaker Krenra, if it dies, he just internalizes it later. We've got the Menace Boy. I would like to block one of their creatures with uh, Resolute Survivors. So let's just drop this. We'll see what happens. Man, they got some good stuff going on here. Their aggro is pretty good. I don't know if we're going to win here. Lightning strikes and stuff would take my care of my creature. I really hope that doesn't happen. So they drew, drew another land. They're just going to attack the creatures. What I'm going to do is block Fanatical Firebrand. They're just going to attack with that. That's fine. Um, so I think they're just going to tap for Fanatical Firebrand to, to deal the damage to my creature. Uh, but we need to gain life. So we take four, then we attack next turn, and then we, we exert and gain life. Uh, this is difficult. Can't block the 2 1. He removes two of his creatures. Yeah, this seems fine. Yeah. I'll take the two for one. Yeah, go ahead. I'll take the two for one. Earthshaker Counter doesn't come back until several turns later, so we're okay with that. Ooh. Honor Crop Captain. We can hit the abrade. Kill that. Drop our creature. They only got one card they can actually cast. Urshaker Krenner has six mana creatures. They have to wait on that. So we, we could potentially back here. We just need to draw land. Then we can do cast outs and stuff like that on stuff we need to, to use. This is awesome. Perfect. Oh, there's our land. So let's drop on our crop captain. Combat. We've stopped their aggro, which is great. Now we're going to start a high grow. This is going to be awesome. Oh, as a Badire, are you leaving? We'll see you later then if you're leaving the stream. I'll be here all day, so if you can, you can watch me do some more Magic Island Arena. And of course, you can check out all my other stuff on the chat, or on my YouTube channel as well. Sure, you can internalize that. We will get that with an Ixalan finding. Creatures with power or equal less to it, sure. That's fine. You hit me for four. We got a magma spray. That's perfect. We can also just hit it with the cast out. So any haste do they have can stop, can kill us, I think. Or hazard or what have you. But I think it, I think a cast out would probably be just the best use right here. Because the token just goes away. Let's find a blocker just in case Hazard comes down so we can block. We know they're going to try to play Hazard. We know they're going to try to play some removal. Six Ramanoff runes. Sack of Desert deals two damage to each opponent. They don't have enough deserts to do that. Yeah, they're just going to switch it over. Uh, we're going to drop Dr. Vanguard. You know, they might actually try to activate Ramanoff runes to hit me with light strike later. That would be a thing. We have two turns on him. We have a two turn clock. So, if they don't do anything this next turn, we win. I'll be just back. I'll be back in just a moment.
Okay, I'm back. So we're gonna lose to Glorybringer because top decks are a thing, right? That seems like a thing. Exert! I'm sure that resolves. Yeah, we can't block. We should have definitely Ixalan's binding there. That would have been amazing. Well, we failed. Damn it, but do your damage. You got there, just barely. That was terrible. We almost had it. So that was that was a loss. So Oh, now we're at one one. So let's go ahead and back to the deck here. Let's take a look at the deck list because I feel like if we would have had something else in there, like another cast out. Well, the thing was, we used it wrong. We should have excellent finding the token, then cast out, held it up later for any sort of extra removal or stuff that they had. So it was really just a misplay on my part. So let's go ahead and try to get some more in there. Open beta was probably going to come really soon. Uh, they're moving along with a lot of their economy right now, so it shouldn't be too much longer before that's done. It's open beta. They've got a lot of cool events that they're going to put into the game. Events are going to be kind of like uh, Hearthstone Adventures or anything like that. If you're if you played Hearthstone before, uh, the way those will work, you'll just spend some money on playing that. Ooh, this is a really good hand. I go first, and I got Hazard in my hand. Awesome. This is amazing hand. Sky Marcher Ask Mechanical Firebrand. Wow. Uh yeah, we'll do turn one firebrand. Get in the combat. Boom. Boom for damage. Do it. My turn. Combat Sorrow went. Wow, look at this amazing hand. This is, this is gonna go we gotta go fast. We gotta go fast. Get in there. Take that two damage. They're gonna play some stuff. Maybe do one craving to try to stop me here. Unclaimed territory. Dust Legion Zealot. That's fine. You can resolve that. Sure. Resolve that. Lose life. Now we did it. My turn. Max Brain. Kill that creature. Get out of here. So, uh, we've got the arrow. Combat, get in there, I'll attack. Go, go, go. Gotta go fast. So, let's go ahead and drop a mountain. Oh boy, it's Hazret. Let's go. Oh yeah, combat. Attacks. Get in there. Blockers, do it. <laughs> oh yes. They block anything that's not Hazret and they're going to they still take damage. Oh, this is ridiculously good. I think, Andre, that's worth a clip. I think a Hazard Combat Celebrant is worth a clip. That's a pretty good that's a pretty good turn right there. That's the turn. Now that's the turn. Damage. You just might be dead. Cool. We're just going to kill that guy. And just attack. Because we can do that. <laughs> yeah. That was the fastest win I've ever done. Fast win club. Look at that. 50 gold and we got another reward. What does that flip into? Enter the unknown. Perfect for our explore deck. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah, that, that Hazard win was super fast. That, that deserves a clip. Uh, if not, I'll go back and clip it, so...
Oh, just learned about Ninja, the streamer who is like the most popular guy right now playing Fortnite, is of course terrible because he dropped the N-word on stream multiple times. Because, you know, you gotta say it to get people on your side, right? Well then. Anyway, let's continue with our stream because we are, you are part of the lab team and the lab team gets it done. That's right, the lab team gets it done. So we are going to go ahead and start continuing on with another win. We have actually, overall wins are now three. That's two wins. Edit that stuff right there. Oh yes. That's how we do these wins. So we're going to play another one. We're going to try to get another win. Try to get another pack. We're going to get all this stuff going on here. Hopefully my sound is loud enough. Like I sound loud enough on the screen. I'm going to check on my phone. Checking some stuff on here. Let's see if I sound good on the stream. Okay, so there's a little bit of happiness, but I think that'll be okay. So we've got uh, opponent goes first. I get to play Cartoon from Solidarity multiple times. Wow, we got Stone Quarry turn one, which is decent. I don't like it as much because there's a lot of lot of but not a lot of removal. So let's mulligan for that. Let's get something better. Ooh, yes, Sky Marcher Aspirin into Dono Vanguard. I can see it already. That's gonna be fantabulous. And we got a Angel Condemnation. Let's keep that. Let's see what's on our top. Mountain. That's perfect. We can go into another land here, so we know we're going to draw that. We're going to drop Plains, Mountain, Mountain. That's what our 1, 2, 3 is going to be. If near Deadlands. That's strange. Sure, we play Sky Marcher Aspirant. We'll see what goes on from here. Uh, let's drop a Mountain. Combat swing in, get that two damage. Drop the Adanto Vanguard because we play Adanto Vanguard. This person's playing Black Green Explorer. We can tell. They have their Deadlands and Foul Orchard. I don't know if there's a mo moment of craving us. Nope, that's a Seer Squire. We're okay with this. What's on top? Moment of craving? Oh, that's gross. Oh, they're going to leave it on top, aren't they? Oh, that was gross. That wasn't good at all. I think we're just going to drop Resident Survivors out. I think that's the best plan, right? Resolute Survivors seems good on this turn. We know they're going to moment a crave next turn. Secret Squire is definitely going on there. I think we're just going to attack with an Auto Vanguard. Because we want Sky March Rasper to stay out and become a uh, one flyer. Moment of Craving, we knew that was going to happen. Goodbye, my creature. I'm sorry. Not two, three, please. Uh, so now we've got... Ooh, drop the Angel of Condemnation. We're definitely doing that turn three. Turn four. We're going to exile the creature. Oh, yeah. So we definitely want to attack with the Resolute Survivors. Not Exert, though. Just regular attack. That's fine. Hit for another three. Go on. Keep going. Another secret wire. They're looking for lands. They need lands, and they're not getting it. That's in the Vanguard. That goes to the graveyard. They're not drawing what they need to. So Angel of Condemnation got got a thing, which will exile another target creature. That's cool. This is a good game, I know. So combat attacks. Two attackers. That's fine, cool. Uh, we're gonna exile a, one of your creatures, though. Is that cool? 
yeah, we'll take that and deal some damage and kill it. And we have some good stuff. And they're probably thinking this is ridiculous because it is ridiculous. How ridiculous is it? It is so ridiculous. Let's do a little quick pose around our Wild Growth Walker, that's fine. You can keep that. We're okay with that. So, we've got our Sky March for Aspirant. How many lands are there? Six, seven, eight, nine. We got a Flyers. We got Flyers. Oh, they're flying. Oh, yes. And it's Lord about an issue. Oh, yes. And we'll attack with Resolute Survivors of an Exert. Will we? Nah, I think we're good. Get in there for two. Oh, yes. I think they're going to try to drop... They're going to drop the dude, then they're going to explore with the explore card. Right? That's that's what's going to happen. They're going to want to try to gain some life. Maybe. Ooh, lightning strike. Oh, I love it. We're going to hit the combat. They're just going to give it to us. That was pretty easy, right? That was really easy. 1,500 gold. Look at that. Oh, we get a pack, and we get a card, and it's a guaranteed rare. You see it right there. Boom! Hapatra, Vizier of Poisons. Ooh, that makes me want to build a Brawl deck around her? Oh, yes. That sounds awesome. We'll build a Brawl deck around her later. I don't think we have her in our list, so that's a pretty good setup right there. Let's take a little print screen of that so we can make a, make a uh, quick image of that. Give me a moment. So I'm setting up and making a quick picture. Quick picture. Picture, picture, picture. Picture, picture, picture. We got a picture. I want to put some, some screenshots going on here, right? Okay. All right. Back to the game. We got a pack. We can open that pack in a bit. I'm trying to earn another, another common card. We got our 15 wins for the week. Let's continue on. We gotta keep climbing these ranks. This is what we gotta do. Okay, so our hand is Shepherd Dunes, that's fine. Mount Arch of Solidarity, Warren Pounce, her opponent was first. I think I like this into Kanjali Sunwing. I really wish if they went first we had some removal, but yeah, that's fine. Adore Pounce for being double strike is okay. Kanjali Sunwing later on with Cartouche of Solidarity is going to be really good. Ooh, we have a Firebrand! Combat, go, go, go! Get him in there. Get in there! That's pretty good. Okay, so let's drop our Chef of Dunes. 
Odonto Vanguard. That's pretty hot. You can drop Cartouche of Solidarity on Fanatical Firebrand. I like that too. But what I like is Odonto Vanguard. Because it doesn't die. Well, they're playing Black White, so maybe we should drop out a Dorm Pouncer first. Yeah, I know we can play that way. I understand this. You understand this. We can trade with the 1-1 one, one if we want to. You can trade with the 1-1. One, one. You can leave your friends behind. Yeah. Let's just kill it. Get it out of here. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Get it out of here. We don't want it. You ain't got it. It is so nice outside. It is very nice. Foreigner. That seems fun. You're gonna play forward with the Arena Legion. Okay. That's cool. You're gonna go search up another Forerunner Legion. That's weird, also. But fine, I guess. Well, I think what we want to do is drop another Chef at Doom. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right, because we can play both Cartouche and Honor Crop Captain, or Adonto Vanguard. Um, it's first strike. Uh, let us drop Cartouche and Solidarity. We get a cat. Honor Crop Captain. Attack with my double striker. You have to block, or you take four. I think they're gonna block. They're not gonna block, they take four. All right, that's fine. Cool. So what is gonna go on here? Favorite Fane. It gets itself plus three plus, so it's gonna make it itself a three three? And it's gonna make a one one? You know, man, I'm already cool with taking a four. I'm taking four. Yeah, I'm cool with that. We're not. We'll, we'll, we'll be fine with that. That's fine. Uh, so let's drop a mountain here. Uh, I think what we also want to do is drop Kinjali Sunwing. So. Yes. So let's add a mana. Add a colorless. Jolly Sunwing. Your creature's coming to play tap. Thank you. Also, here's Fanatical Firebrand to kill your 1 1. Get rid of that. Yeah, you want to lose Maverick Fane? That's, it. That's fine with me. Oh, Dorn Pouncer becomes huge! Wow! That's ridiculous! We are getting in there. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, you can do forward and leisure, that's fine. Oh, Sanctum Seeker, cool. You're not getting life, man. It's not happening. Do I take another five in the face? I think we do. Because we attack, and they, the no matter which one they don't block, I no blocker, I'll block that five. That seems fine. Combat. They all get bigger. Anything you block, you're still dead. I win! I don't think you know what's going on here. Ta-da! We got it.
Look at that. See, we got another card. It's a swaggering Corsair. This is how we do it. We're just going to keep climbing these ranks here. Give me just a moment. Taking a look at some stuff here. On my Twitter feed. What are we missing out on? 